Welcome, my name is Ron Shaw and I'm with 3CI Training. This is going to be a short video on how to load a Linksys router with the uh, DDWRT software to enhance the security capabilities and features of your Linksys router. Now, one of the first things you got to do is determine your uh, Linksys uh, version number of your particular uh, device you're using. I'm going to be using a Linksys WRT 54G router and I'm using version 4. So first thing we need to do is go to uh, to the website to ddwrt.com and we're going to do a search for the uh, for your particular Linksys device. Now in here I'm using a, a Linksys WRT uh, 54G version 2. So what I'll do is I'll click on that particular device and I'll go in there and look for the downloads. Now now that I found my downloads for my particular device or the ones that are available, I'm going to select a certain set of uh, downloads. I'm going to build the required initial flashing, which is going to be this first one right here, and I'll download it to my desktop, which I've already done. So I'll get the DDWRT version 2.4 MIDI genetic version. We're going to be running this one first. So you just download it to a location, just click on it, save and just put it to a particular location. Now you've already seen I have it loaded in here so I won't go any farther with this. Now the second one I'm going to do is I'm going to get a generic um, uh, generic version for my particular device. So in here I'm going to take and, and load the standard generic version here. So I'll download this one here. Again, we'll save it. As you can see it's already in here. The uh, the standard generic right here. Now these are the two files I'm going to use to upgrade my Linksys router. Once we get everything downloaded I'll go back and check and verify on my de in my file that I have them loaded. As you can see I got my ger generic and I've got my uh, mini generic uh, one right here that I'm going to use to do the initial flash. Now the next thing is going to be is going to configure your Linksys router. Now you'll need to reset it or to the default settings if or you can go in and log in uh, to if you've already have it configured. Now once I get my uh, Linksys up and running or I'll go to it and then I'll go ahead and log into it. As you can see I'm already into my uh, Linksys router and already have it booted up and connected to it. From here I'm going to go to the administration and I'm going to do a firmware upgrade. Now, you need to be very, very careful doing this firmware upgrade because uh, by upgrading to uh, DDWRT and you mess up, you will brick your Linksys router and also you void the, uh, the, the warranty for the device. So again, use extreme caution when uh, using the uh, DDWRT. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my folder and I'm going to get my generic mini uh, um, firmware to load in it. So we'll just select it, say open. Now, be very, very uh, careful or cautious. Do not reboot or hit refresh um, during this upgrade process because if you do so, could brick your device or make it non-usable. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select upgrade at this time. Now this could take as much as five minutes to uh, perform this task. So whatever you do, do not do anything or make any changes to the router while this updates going through. Now I'm going to pause the video just for a few minutes here until the upgrade process is done. Okay, now you can see that the upgrade has been successful. Now I will hit continue and what this is going to do is going to reset and reboot your router. So again we'll just hit continue. Do not make any changes and once you hit it once uh, just leave it alone and again this could take up to you know three to four minutes but be patient with it and it will be done. Now as you can see it's already uh, prompted me for it so it's went through and, and reset. So now the username will be root and the password is going to be the default uh, password that we uh, that the link says, which is admin. Now, as you can see now, I have been successful in uploading the generic or the mini um, DDWRT firmware. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and install the uh, standard feature. Again, I'll go to the advanced or the administrators go to firmware upgrade and there I will select my firmware 
again we'll go to my DDD folder and I'll get the standard generic click open again uh, a heed the warning upgrade firmware may take a few minutes so don't turn off or put the power button now in here I'm going to go ahead and tell it to reset to the default uh, settings if you like if not you just leave this button here and it will set there and leave all your current settings in there so at this time I will hit upgrade it will start and as you can see it's going through the process uh, in here now again this could take as much as five minutes to perform this particular task so again I'm just going to pause the video while this is going through now as you can see the upgrade was successful now the unit is rebooting so please wait a moment so we're going to wait here a few minutes so it probably take again about a minute or so for it to reboot once it's through and it has a successful reboot uh, you'll again be presented uh, back to the initial uh, setup page so again I'm just going to pause the video here for a second to allow this thing to reboot and now we're back in here and again now you can see we got the uh, a current firmware up here the most standard here 101009 um, of course I don't have any WAN connectivity in here now you can see all the basic setups uh, D DDNS uh, Mac cloning uh, services so now you have taken your normal Leaksys uh, router and you've enhanced it and, and increased the security and functionality of a normal Linksys um, um, cable or um, router. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to uh, seeing you in the future in other videos. Have a great day.